And it all starts with a package you get from a crafting sister with five items to use. So we had some pearls, some twine, a little greenery, and some cotton. Uh, I had to pick the stocking, so I chose to go with a primitive look and to do everything primitive using my ground fabric um, and a picket fence that was in my stash for a very long time. All I did was apply a little bit of wax uh, paint and that's it. So I started with applying my uh, burlap stocking onto my picket fence and I cut a few of uh, these strips of fabric and decided to do something simple, not a big bow. So first off, we're going to make a pretty border with some white fur for our stocking. Once that's done, we can go ahead and I did something very simple. I just took the strips and um, pinch them in the, in the middle, put five together, and I used the twine that my crafting friend sent me, and I just twist it up to tie it up. And once that was done, I chose to leave my twine long because it looked pretty, and I glued it onto my stocking. So then I decided to use some of the greenery that she sent me and put it where um, our ribbon is. And I wanted to incorporate a different type of greenery. So I had these small leaves with small berries. I just zip tied them together, just three pieces and glued them on. Of course, I wasn't done with just that, so I wanted to add a little sum sum. So I took another piece of my grunged fabric and decided to make a small bow to go over my fabric tails and my greenery. And just glued that on. It was like adding like just a finishing touch. I also had some pearls, so I decided to add a pearl in the center. Pearls are very sentimental for me. It's all about my grandma. The wooden sign that says believe that she sent me, I decided to apply the same wax that I applied to the fence. So I just give it a quick coat. Once it dries, if I feel that it's too light, I can always go back with a darker brown and uh, and paint it, but it looks good so far. So we're going to glue that on, and on the dot for the eye, I decided to add another pearl, just to put another little touch. So then we decided to also add some pearls. Um, hold on, let me glue that on, and then I'll tell you. As I'm preparing myself to add some greenery, my friends in the audience gave me a great suggestion. So wait till you see what we do next. So she suggested I took some of the pearls and added to the end of the twine. And what a perfect touch that was. So pretty, so delicate. And we just added another little touch. Okay, once that was done, we decided to glue our greenery. I added a little bit of red berries just to add a little bit of color on the bottom as well. and just glued that down. Mm -hmm. 
being careful not to cover our sign. And I also decided to add my cotton ball, which looks very, very pretty. So I used all the pretty things that my crafting sister sent me. I'm very excited. I just still didn't feel right. So I wanted to add more of my fabric to make a uniform look from top to bottom. So we decided to cover just the toe a little bit, part of it and the heel just a little bit to give it a different little touch. And we made that looking very nice in the back and in the front as well. And we did the same thing for the front just gluing a little bit of the fabric on, cutting off the extra, and wrapping it all pretty. And we just adding a couple of finishing touches, and here is me with my bow, and here's our finished project. I sure hope you enjoyed, and make sure you follow us, and we'll see you soon for more pretty projects. Bye!